right, so this video is going to be showing you how to install the rear seat kit. So basically, I'm just going to show you the whole process of installing it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just follow the instructions. That's all, that's all you need to do. What I'm going to do is show you what I did. You're not going to see full length video of me screwing screws in and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you where each piece goes how you attach it and that's it. The only thing this video is not gonna show you is installing the seat cushions. Reason why is because in another video, I'll be wrapping the seats with the new seat covers that I purchased. So I couldn't install seat cushions at that point in time. And also the struts to hold the roof up, those are not being installed either. Just because I got to install the roof, and that's a different video as well so stay tuned for more hopefully this is sufficient enough for you guys to kind of get a gist of it and then go on from there whoever is watching these videos thank you very much for watching subscribe hit the like button leave any comments if you would like thanks again and enjoy <laughs>
So we're going to be using pack two. This is it right here. And as you can see, we're going to be mounting these brackets to the, the frame of the seat here. Hey guys, um, uh, we have the back seat installed. Alright. Alright, so I did skip this part, but basically you put this on first. You put the two screws. I showed you that. It's under here. Then you put the side armrest, the back piece, and the other side. There's two bolts and nuts that go on there. You got one here, one there. On the top, you gotta put this washer, or, or just for a spacer. Here you put the acorn nut with this Phillips head screw. At the bottom, you do the same bolts and nuts that the other sections have. And it connects under here somewhere. If you can see it in here, right there. So this pole connected to the bottom here. And then it connects underneath. Uh, this attaches here. These are shorter nuts that you put on there. Or bolts, the shorty bolts. Uh, and then over here you get the long bolts as well. That go yeah, here. and look at the Oh, it's the same thing on the other side. Yeah, and look at the paint. Look Hold up. On. Hold on, Aiden. Look up to the paint. So this is a back seat kit. I'm holding off on the backrest because I'm going to reupholster the seats. Look at the paint, guys. Look. That looks good, right? Yeah, it does look good. But, um... Look at the light. Whoa. And look at the other light. Back here. You see it? Look at the other light. Back here. Nice. Yeah, right. look at the orange light. So that's how we'll see you guys later. The orange lights are only in the front. Go ahead. Turn it on. You go over there. There's your turn signal. And look the other one. You gotta Where push the other way. You gotta push it up. Oh, okay. Push it up. There you go. There's the other one. Alright, so the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and reupholster the seats. And then I got to figure out where to place this bracket because this, this kit comes with a straight bracket. It's kind of like a generic bracket. So I'm going to have to drill a hole in that back seat kit, but I got to make sure I put it in the right spot when I drill the hole. So everything, uh, the whole back seat's done except the struts. Those are in, but temporarily, I just want to make sure that I'm going to be able to pull out of my garage once they're mounted. So I have them strapped in with some, I have regular tie straps. Tie straps? Zip, zip ties that I decided just to use these. I just had them in there so I don't waste a zip tie. So it's holding it pretty much in place. I installed a seat belt kit. So this rear seat kit actually came with the brackets to attach a seat belt. So I went ahead and installed a seat belt kit. The kit I purchased, so you, as you can see, you got front and back seat belts. Once again, all this stuff went together pretty easily. You just follow the instructions and Sorry, I didn't video every single part of it. Make sure everything's tight when you're all said and done. Make sure these are all nice and tight. These down here are tight, you know, on both sides, everything. Don't forget that. So the seat kit, the seatbelt kit, I put it back in here, but it comes with, with this hardware. And this would, see the holes there? They would mount to a, a frame or something. And then you would mount your seat belts here where these holes are at. Well, since this already had the loops there, installed part of the back seat kit. As you can see, once again, it's just this, there's some holes, you know, that's already mount. So since I already had that, I just went ahead and put this. I got this semi loose so we could adjust it if we need to. Uh, this is pretty solid. Uh, I don't think I want that to move too much. Um, but it should be fine. If anything, I'll have to loosen it up to, to have it adjust a little easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put the front struts on. I did order new covers. It would basically go right here and cover up the uh, 
the holes. That should be in tomorrow. Uh, this is actually the wrong side. But I want to put the struts in just so I could just lay the roof on there and see if I could pull out of my garage without scraping. Uh, so that's the next step. This seat is not installed. I just have it laying here. Cause I gotta get, I'm gonna go ahead and video me trying to reupholster the seats. But so far, I'm happy with the way it's looking. It's coming together now, finally. Well, I just really hope I can get out of the, the garage with the uh, top on since I lifted this now. I'm concerned about that part. That's the end of the seat kit installation. I'm hoping you find it pretty easy to follow. I believe I went over every little detail as far as what needs to be done, what screws go where, and I would assume that's sufficient enough. If not, let me know in the comments and I could try to clarify a few things if you'd like. But I'm basically gonna be done with golf cart videos after this project. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, leave comments, whatever you could do to help support the channel and help me grow my channel as well. So thank you again and see you in the next video.